Hello again. Hello, hello. I'm back and I'm live. Okay, I hope uh, I hope you can see me. Uh, okay, we're going to try this again. I don't know what's going on the internet. The Wi-Fi kept dropping. So I hope it's going to be okay. Let's see what happens this time. Uh, if someone could like the video, as soon as you come in, if someone could like the video. Hi, Kat. If you could like the video for me, like the live, then I can uh, access it on my computer. Um, I just need someone to like the video, please. Someone like it. Just want to click like. And that, well, there we go. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Monza. Okay, that's perfect. There we go. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if, uh, if it's happening for you, but the screen's going black for me. I don't know what's happening here. Um, so just to cover what I covered a minute ago, in case you missed it, today's show is dedicated to uh, Jay from Jay's Journey, who uh, ended his journey yesterday. And uh, our love and thoughts and best wishes go to the family. And uh, it's also dedicated to Kat, whose birthday it is today. Happy birthday. I'm not going to sing, because that's a terrible singer. But on with the show. Let me get on with the show before it comes out again. Last show, I did talk about the linking rings. We did the ones with the ropes. These are these really, really closely. Watch them really closely. Now, I'm going to show the rings one at a time. This is the first ring. Okay, completely solid. It has one hole. It goes all the way through from one side to the other. This is the second ring. We're going to spin it round. Nothing here. Okay. And the third ring, we just spin it round here. And there we go, the third ring. Now I want you to watch this really, really closely. Okay. I've got something knocking on my front door now as well. Hi, Nev. <laughs> okay, I want you to watch this really closely. Nothing here and nothing here. Now watch this, two rings. Okay, here we go, watch closely. We're gonna go three, two, one. Now when I do that, hopefully we're gonna get them to link together. Okay, so three, two, one. Now the idea is that when the rings link together, you have to give a big cheer, okay? That's one of the rules. So we go three, two, one, and link them, just like so. And our rings have linked together. Now I want you to watch it really closely. If I roll it like this, I can actually get them to come apart again. Now, it's when you bash them together here, this is the soft spot. You have to find the soft spot. So we go three, two, one, and it links into a chain. We take the next one, we just rub like this. And if you look really carefully, it's just going to link just like so. And if you show them here, one, two, and three, all linked together into one long, beautiful chain. Thank you very much. And I'm back. I don't know what's going on with the screen here. It keeps going black. I hope it's not cutting out. Uh, so I want you to for the children. I always do one trick for the children or a couple of tricks for the children. And um, uh, even though you're in lockdown at the moment, it won't be very long until you're allowed out again. You can go to the park and move these rings over here. I do apologise for that. So it won't be very long until you can go to the park and go out. And I have seen some kids whining about, and it's a bit worrying because, um, first of all, you're not supposed to be out and about. But secondly, a lot of the kids are out and about and they're not wearing helmets and they're not wearing. I'll show you this. This is my, my trick for safety. Now, inside here is a young boy, and he. There he is. Uh, he lives in his house with his mum and his dad. And we're going to put this back on here. Now, what I would like to do, all the boys and girls at home watching, I would like you to write down the messages I want to hear. Hello, I want you to hear, uh, write down here, what should he be wearing? What should he be wearing if he's going to be uh, going out on his bicycle? Okay, I'm going to point to a couple of parts of his body here, 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 and I want you to shout out what he should have on. So first of all, what do you think he should have on his head? He should be wearing a... That's right, a cycle helmet. And he should have a cycle helmet on here. If he falls off, then he won't get hurt. And to protect his arms, what should he have on his arms? That's right, some arm protectors. And what about on his knees? Do you think he should have some, like similar to his arm protectors, but on his knees as well? That would be a very, very, so if he's going out, he should also have a high visibility jacket on as well, because that will make sure he can be seen, even if he's got lights on his bike. I tell you what we're gonna do, he's gonna go back into his house, and when he goes in, we're gonna get him to look for those things, okay? So what I want you to do is to help him out here and shout what those things were, okay? Do you remember what he needs? Do you remember the things that he needs? So he needs a cycle helmet. So everyone shout cycle helmet. Very good. And what else do you need? He needs uh, elbow protectors. Very good. And knee protectors to shout elbow protectors, knee protectors. And finally, he should be wearing a high visibility jacket so that everyone can see him when he's on his bike. Now, I think he's ready to come out. So we're gonna make sure to wiggle their fingers and say abracadabra. Are you ready? One, two, three. 
That's amazing. Now, if it's worked and if he's wearing the right clothes, we're going to give him a massive, massive round of applause. Okay, and then we can let him go off on a bike ride. And if we open up the door now, you'll see there he is, completely ready to go out. Let me just put the front door back on. And he is dressed. There we go, he is dressed with his cycle helmet, with his uh, elbow protectors and knee protectors, and he's got a high visibility jacket on. He is ready to go cycling. He is our little superstar. Give him a big round of applause, give him a big clap. We're gonna put him back in there, and I'm gonna put this down here. Now, I'm gonna show you all the card trick, and then I'm gonna teach you how it's done. This is a very, very easy card trick, and it's in lots of magic books, and on magic instructional videos, and it's a cool little, first of all, I'm gonna do it for you. Now, I, today, I'm gonna to be using really, really big cards, but I've also got this trick in uh, normal size cards as well. So I can show you how to make it up. It's very, very simple. Um, and I want you to watch this really closely. Here, let me get this into the light here so you can see it. So we've got two kings and we've got a queen. Two kings and a queen. Now, what card would you say is the, uh, is the odd card? I would say the queen, because these are both kings and that's a queen. And these are both black and that's a red. Uh, and so I would say that the, the odd card is the queen. And the queen is in the middle. Now I want you to watch this really closely. I'm going to turn the cards over very slowly. I'm not doing anything, the queen's still in the middle. Okay, I'm going to turn it over very slowly. And then I'm going to take out the middle card, just like so. Now I want you to look at this really closely. Over here we've got the two, right here, we have got, oh, it's not the queen, it's a joker. Well, that's weird. Where'd the queen go? Unbelievable. Okay, now this is really, really, really nice little trick. It's very, very easy to do. What you're going to need, and you can do this after, you haven't got to do it now. I'm going to run through it very quickly and then you can watch the video back later. Um, I will post it to my website and to YouTube so you can go on there and check it out as well. What you're going to need for this is um, two cards that match. So two, I've got here two kings. You're going to need an odd card. It can be any card. I'm using a joker here, but it can be any card that you want it to be. And then you need the queen. Now the queen, much as you might think it is. I just want to... Yeah, I'm just watching it on the screen here. And it's, it's pausing. I don't know why the internet is lagging today. I really, really don't. I will keep going though. I will keep going. So what you need is the queen is actually cut. You take a card and you cut a bit of the queen off and we're going to stick it onto the card and make a little flap. And our joker hides behind that card. And then that one goes on top and it looks like the queen is there when in fact it's not, okay? So it does look like the queen is there when in fact it's not. So if I put that there and I put that there, it looks like, now what you want to do is you want to get a queen, I've got a spare one here, and with some help, get some scissors, and you're going to cut just like that, okay? And then you want to stick a bit of sellotape on here, on the, in, on the back of the card, and then stick it Uh, you stick a bit of sellotape onto the card and then sellotape it onto the big card so it's on a slant like that. And then the joker will fit behind that card, if I get into a shot, and this card will go over the top here. And then this bit here, sometimes that bit there is a bit visible, if I can get it close to the camera, and you can see the line there. So I'm just going to cover that with my fingers. So it looks like I've got two kings and a queen, and then when I turn the card over, I can slide this card out, uh, sorry, and then just move those cards together so I can turn it over to show two kings, drop these down, and then turn this one over to show that it has changed from the queen into the joker. Now with the small cards, uh, it's exactly the same. There we go, let me get that closer for you. Exactly the same, so I hold it here to cover up the little line there. I show two kings and a queen, I turn it over, I take the middle card out, I slide these two cards together, and now I can show two kings. I drop them down, and the queen has changed once again into the joker. And magic happens at your fingertips. That is amazing. Uh, I will do this again in another video, um, and I'll put just because uh, it keeps lagging and cutting out, I have no idea why it's doing that. I do apologize, I don't know why it's lagging. Um, I'm going to do one more trick for you and do one quick trick for you here today and then uh, and then I might give it a uh, finish the show there just because it's not playing nicely today and I don't want it to, to ruin the tricks. If I can get it working properly I might come back on and do another like a, another couple of tricks in a little while 
Um, I really don't know why it's cutting out, but this is a silly little trick that I like to do. And it uses again the big cards. As you can see, all the cards are different. Now I am looking at the messages. Now there is a little delay, so I'm please bear with me, but I would like somebody, anybody, to say stop in the messages. Okay, anybody at all, just say stop in the messages. Now I'm gonna go slowly, because I know there is a delay, and when I see the first person say stop, when it comes up, ah, Harry Stedman, stop, thank you, Harry. Okay, we have stopped at a card. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna look away while you look at the card. I'm gonna look over here, there's no screen. I have to look this way, because there's my computer screen here. Okay, so everyone have a look at the card. Don't write down what it is. Don't write it in the comments because I don't want to accidentally see it. That's the card, okay? I'm going to leave it on top and I'm going to place it here. Now, it's my job now to tell you what that card was. It's my to reach into your mind and divulge that card. Okay, let me have a think. Let me have a think. Uh, I think it was a red card. Is that right? Was it a red card? Was it a red card? I was talking about the back of the card, to be honest with you, but that's okay. Okay, let's have a think. Maybe... If I had a clue, I'd be able to work out what the card might be. Maybe if I had some sort of clue as to what card you'd chosen, maybe I'd be able to work out exactly what the card might be. I've got no, I think, I think it's a red card. I think it might be a heart or is it a diamond? I don't know. I'm going to try and work it out. I'm pretty sure that I can, um, I can get this. I'm pretty sure I can work out the card if only... So I think it's a red card. I think it's a. I think it might be a heart. But what number? What number might it be? If only I had some sort of idea of what number that card could be. That would be the best trick in the world. I could just look at you and go, I think your card is. Um, but I don't know. I'm just not getting it. Maybe I've got an idea. Maybe if you all shout the name of the card to me, maybe it might help me find the card. If you shout it out. So when I go three, two, one, everyone shout the name of the card. Are you ready? Three, two, one. You're going to have to shout a lot louder than that. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Well, actually, I've got one card in my pocket. And wouldn't it be amazing if that was the chosen card? Thank you very, very much. Ah, well, it's such a short one for now. I will try and come back on later. Um, it keeps lagging and keeps stopping. I'm going to reset my router and see if that does anything. And if it does work then I will try and come back online and maybe do another couple of tricks in about 10, 15 minutes time. Uh, I do apologize, I feel really, really bad. I'm so sorry guys, five hard, <laughs> you're a genius. Ah, oh, thank you, Tommy. Um, I do apologize, I don't know why it keeps, it just keeps stopping and starting and I'm worried that, I can't tell because I've got the sound whether you're missing bits of what I'm doing. So what I'll do is, I will, there, just did it again. I'm gonna reset all the devices and the router. I will come back on, I'll do the instruction for the card trick again and teach you all the card trick again and I'll finish off with another trick after that. Um, give me 10, 15 minutes and I will come back. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a bit. Cheers, guys. Hey, everyone. So we're going to try again. Uh, I think, I think we've got it going. I'm just trying to get my laptop back online. Let's see if this works. I think we've got it going. Uh, I do apologise, I do apologise. Hi Kat, happy birthday again. Um, I do apologise, oh I think we're online again. Let's have a look here. Can someone just like the video for me? If anybody just like the video, that would be fantastic. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what happened before. Uh, hopefully it's not glitching now. Take three, that's right, yeah I know, I know, I know. Uh, let's have a look here. Hi Lewin, oh Lewin's messaging me as well. Uh, oh, thank you, Kat. Thank you. Let me get it up on here, then I can see and read some messages. Okay, okay. Let me uh, swap this off here. <laughs> That's my pleasure. Okay, so we're going to try it again. We're going to try it again. Uh, so I'm going to very quickly run through the making of the card trick again, uh, just in case you missed it before. Uh, I've reset my router and I've reset all my devices. So hopefully, hopefully that won't glitch. Um, so I will do the card trick again, just in case it glitched before. I will do the card trick again, and then I will again show you how it's done. It's very, very simple. It's a really, really nice, simple little card trick. Uh, and it uses three cards, uh, two kings and a queen. Now, if you look at the queen, the queen is in the middle. I'm gonna turn it over very slowly. I'm gonna remove that card from the middle of the pack. Now, if I take these two cards here, I can show you two black kings, which means this must be the queen, but in fact, it's not. 
It's a joker, upside down joker than that. It's a joker. Okay, so once again, what you need to do, take an old card uh, and you're gonna cut. Now these two cards, I've picked two black kings because they match and it's quite nice to have the matching cards. And then you're gonna take uh, the queen and you're just gonna cut out one part of the queen, okay, one corner. And I do it on a, on a little curve. And then I'm gonna take a bit of sellotape and I'm just gonna stick it onto the back of the card here and then onto the face of the king here. If I just hold that up to the camera, hopefully you can see that and you get this nice little flap. Now I have seen magicians in the past do this. And so the, uh, when they, they, they make the queen disappear here, and get into shot, they can make it disappear here. And then they can rotate it around the flap like that uh, to show you the back of the card, uh, like that. Uh, it's, you know, it really has gone. It's just, you know, boom, because it's now joined on to the, the back of that card. It does blend in quite well with it. But I don't bother with that. You don't need to do that. Um, just place the joker or whatever card you're using underneath the queen, under the flap card, and then place that on top and your thumb goes here. So now it looks like I'm holding two kings and a queen. The joker is successfully hidden under here. Uh, then when I turn it over, I can turn it over honestly because that does look like it's the middle card because it is the middle card. I'm then gonna slide it out very slowly. And at the same time, I'm just gonna move that front king in front of the queen card. So when I turn it over, I can show quite cleanly two, two kings. They can go down, you can blow on it, you say, what card is this? Bet you a drink, bet you a pound, bet you a million pounds, bet you a hundred million pounds. And it's the queen, and of course, if they're wrong, it's the joker, and the queen is gone. You can then pull the queen out from the pocket. Uh, oh, 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 I've got some five of hearts there. Oh, oh, and some more, must have been from that other trick. Um, so, um, yeah, and if you haven't got big cards like me, it works exactly the same with the small cards. You just want to make sure that when you cut out that bit, it doesn't go over this corner here when it's on there, okay? Otherwise, it'll leave a sticky out bit. And again, this bit goes behind here and on here. Thumb goes there, and now I can show the cards. I turn them over. I take this card out. I show two kings and the queen has disappeared and turned into the joker. So a really, really nice trick. It's very, very easy. If anyone's having any problems with it, drop me a message and I can do, go through it with you again. Uh, it's a really, really lovely trick though, and I hope you like it. Now, I was gonna finish off with one other card trick, and I'm gonna do it for you now. And um, this is, a, this is a, a little thing I use in my shows. It opens up. Um, it's completely empty, nothing there. It just keeps it nice and neat on my table. At Christmas time, it's a Father Christmas trick. And then the rest of the year, it's my old toy box. So I, I, I like to have this. And this goes on the table, it folds flat, um, which is really, really useful. And I'm gonna use it today because it's gonna be my toy box. Okay, I'm gonna tell you that. Should we have a Christmas? No, we'll do the, we'll do the box, we'll do the box. Uh, and I wanna tell you about one of the very, very first tricks I ever saw. I was about five years old. Oh, that was a long, long time ago. I was about five years old and I went to a birthday party. I'd never seen a magic show before, never seen a magician. I went to this birthday party and I was just stood in the corner, kind of like keeping myself. I was, a bit, I was very shy when I was little and uh, I was just sat there and I was like watching what was going on and watching all the other boys and girls do their thing. And I was like, oh, this is scary. Oh, look at them. Oh, look at them over there. And all the kids were jumping up and down. And I thought it was a bouncy castle, but it was one of the uncles. He was a big guy and they were bouncing. And anyway, they... Um, all of a sudden, and the kids were picking on me as well. They used to pick on me. Oh, oh, my shirt's better than your shirt. I didn't care. Oh, my haircut's nicer than your haircut. Oh, I've got matching shoes. Anyway, it turned to then the big doors opened and all this smoke came in. Uh, and he walked this man, he had a top hat and a walking stick. And he looked at me and I looked at him and we danced a while. And then he did the most amazing thing. He took five cards, one, two, three, four, five cards. And he squared them up in his hand and into his magic hat. I haven't got the magic hat, so I'm gonna use the box. But into the, into the hat or the box, he took one, two, three of the cards. And then he clicked his fingers and in his hand, he still had one, two, three, four, five cards. And I was amazed. I was completely amazed. And just like that day, just like the day when I saw my first ever magic trick. Just like the day when I decided that I wanted to be a magician. Just like today, just like that day, no one clapped. So he said, I'll do it again. And he took one, two, three, four, five cards. And into his hat, my box, he took one, two, 
three of the cards. And when he clicked his fingers, he still had one, two, three, four, five cards. Now I asked him after the show, I said, how do you do that trick with the five cards where you throw away three and you still got five cards? He said, you have to practice every single day. So every day I practice with the cards. All the time I have a pack of cards, always practicing the trick. I do it all the time. I even used to do it when I go shopping. I remember there was a girl that I went to school with and uh, she's, uh, she's about six months older than me and she used to work in the supermarket I went to. And I used to fancy her. So I usually used to go up to her checkout thing and be like trying to do some magic trick to impress her. And uh, one day she looked at my shopping and had like one apple, one orange, one pint of milk, one small loaf of bread, one bit of this, one tin of soup, one pot of this, one pot of that. And she said, you're single, aren't you? And you live on your own. I said, you can tell that by what I bought. She went, no, you're really ugly. Anyway, she, uh, she didn't like the trick either. And she didn't clap for the trick either. Nobody did, nobody did. And I was always doing it. I was always practicing the trick, one, two, three, four, five. And my daughter, Charlie, she loved this trick. When, when she first started learning to count, we'd practice all the time. I'd go, count the cards, Charlie. One, two, three, four, five. And if you take away one, two, three of the cards, how many has left? She always say two, and I go, no, look, one, two, three, four. That, that's why she's falling behind at school. A anyway, she, uh, she, I spoke to her this morning. She's got a new trampoline. She's bouncing up and down the trampoline. She's having a lot of fun. It was actually bouncing on the trampoline reminded me of the bouncy castle and reminded me to do this trick. And she said to me, Daddy, that's one of my favourite tricks. She said, Dad, I love that trick with the five cards where you throw away three and you still got five cards. Can you do it today? And I said, you know what? I'm going to dedicate this trick to Charlie. This is just for you. It's one of my favourite tricks. You just have five cards. And I want you to watch this really, really closely. Because if I take one, two, three, four, five cards, check it out, I'm going to go nice and slow. One, two, three. When I click my fingers, we're left with one. Oh, oh I can do it. I can do it. Watch this. One, two, three. Four. You're not falling for that, are you? Um, do it that way. One, two. No, I should have done that way first, shouldn't I? Uh, oh, oh, maybe if you help me. Maybe if you all said abracadabra, we could make this work. So when I go three, two, one, everyone as loud as you can. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Very good. You know what? If it did work, if the magic really, really worked, I'd be able to finish this trick by showing you one, two, three, four. And five. Thank you very much. It's kind of funny that that trick reminds me of you know, getting into magic and my love for magic. And you know, I just I use this box all the time. It's a great thing to have and use on the show, etc. It's very shiny and it looks great inside. Um, what's really amazing is there are no cards. It must have all been a dream. Thank you very much. Ah. Oh. I'm going to finish up. I wasn't going to do this one today, but do you know what? I'm going to do it because I'm in the mood to do something a bit silly. And I did the trick at the beginning about, well, on the first video, about the uh, boy and his uh, cycle stuff. And um, this is something I bought for my, uh, for my road safety shows. It's a street arrow, like you might see on any street that you go to. Normally, um, these now are very, very popular with county councils, and it says diversion. Um, almost every street we go down, it says diversion. Um, and um, I, I was actually going, in, on the other side there's an arrow as well, and I was travelling uh, to find a show, I was going to show, just before Christmas, and I pulled over and I said to this man, What's, how did you get to this building? I'm looking for this special building. And he said, oh, I know that one. You go down here, you turn left, okay, and then when you get to the end of that road, turn left, and then you follow the road round to the left, and then take the first left, and you'll find it. And I said, well, hold on, if I go down there, and I turn left, and then I turn left at the end of that road, and then follow it round to the left, and then take the first left, it's gonna bring me back here. And he went, yeah, it's just over the road. I went, oh, thanks. <laughs> anyway, a few days later, I was traveling somewhere else. I said to man, how do I get to this place? And he said, well, you just keep turning left again. And I was like, but that's just gonna be around here. He goes, no, no, you go, you, go, you, go, you go left, you go left, you go left, and you go left, right? And I went, okay, so I went left, and I went left, and I went left, and I went left, and I still couldn't find it. And he said, that's because you didn't go right. He said, I did tell you that. He said, I made it very clear. You go left, left, left left right and i went oh i have to go right to the end and he goes that's right so 
So I did that and I still couldn't find it. And in the end, I got so frustrated, I just looked straight up in the air. And I was like, somebody please help me. Can somebody help me? And at that very moment in time, at that very moment in time, I found a nice policeman who said, oh, it's just over across the road there. I'll show you how to get in there. And that is how I found the show. Thank you. Oh, blimey, that was a bit loud, wasn't it? I love that trick, it's so silly. Ah, well, uh, I'm gonna finish the show there. I, I am really sorry about the disruption in the middle. I don't know why it happened. Luckily, it hasn't done it since, so uh, I will check my regions and that before I do the next live. The next live is on Friday, Friday the 10th. Blimey, 10th already. If, in case you're confused, today's Wednesday. Uh, I know why. I'm constantly going, what day is it, what day is it? Um, uh, I would love to see your pictures. If you've got any pictures, that I, uh, last week I did say, if the kids want to send me in, mum's dad, the kids want to draw me a picture of a magic wand they could design. You can have any gadgets or implements or anything on there that you want, uh, anything that would be useful in everyday life. Um, I've had a couple of pictures already, but I'd love some more. And I'm going to give a little prize out. I'll give a couple of Chinese joke books. Um, I'll email over a couple of joke books to a couple of people uh, if I get enough people entering. So send me a picture of a cool magic wand. It could be Harry Potter style. It could have a built-in TV. It could have a, a device that travels to the moon. Whatever you want. You can make your magic wand look as amazing as you want. But draw me a picture. Give it to your mum and dad. They can send it over to me and I would love to see that. Um, Hi Becky, don't worry if you missed me because you can watch it again, I'm going to upload it. This will be both videos, there was a disruption halfway through, both videos will be on my Facebook and I will upload them. I'm going to put them both together into one video and then upload it to my YouTube and to my uh, my website as well, waynegoodman.co.uk uh, or waynethemagician.co.uk, it goes to the same place. Uh, thank you so much for watching again, I hope you've enjoyed it um, and I will, uh, yeah, I'll upload these in a few minutes time and I will see you on Friday. Tomorrow I'm going to do a couple of videos, so I'll stick them online as well. Uh, can I just say thank you to my next door neighbour Sylvia, because uh, she made me an amazing Slovakian goulash with pasta. It was amazing, really nice lunch. And the knocking on the door earlier on was uh, Neve, which is my daughter, which is Charlie's best friend who lives over the road. And um, she bought me over a burger as well. <laughs> oh, I love my neighbours. They are the coolest people ever. Um, so thank you very much for that. Happy birthday, Kat, once again. Happy birthday. Uh, have a lovely afternoon. Enjoy the sunshine in your garden. Don't go out anywhere. And uh, I will see you on Friday. If you've got any requests or you want to see something, if I've not seen it before you want to see it again, drop me a message. Please go to my YouTube page and like and subscribe. That would be fantastic as well. It would be a great help. And um, yeah, have a great day. Have a great day tomorrow. Stay safe, stay good. And I will see you on Friday. Thanks for now. Bye.